Okay, now it's time to create our uh, catalog um, class. So inside of the classes folder, let's create a new file and call it catalog.php. Again, open in PHP tag, class catalog extend extends application. Okay. The first thing again, private property called underscore table and the name of the table from which we're going to be populating information here is categories. Okay, first public function will be called get categories. And again, we start with the SQL statement, select all from and between the curly braces, this underscore table order by name in the ascending order and semicolon right at the end. Okay, now return again this db. This time we won't be returning just one record, so we fetch all records. And that's everything we need for now. So if we go to our header again, template and header, and above the business, if we create two new lines, we create the object catalog. And we assign the new instance of the catalog class. To it. Okay, now we want to get all categories. So cats, let's call it instance of the object and our new uh, method get categories. Okay, now we have all of the categories inside of this uh, array here. If we scroll down to the categories navigation, you can see here. And after the opening UL tag with the ID of navigation, if we open the PHP tag and close it right after that. Uh, now we're going to do, uh, first of all, actually, we're going to uh, check whether there are any categories. So if we copy the name of this array and, and create the condition if is an empty cats, then for each cats as cut. Okay, now we're going to echo li tag a href oh hush href equals backslash double quote and then forward slash question mark page to which we're going to be redirecting the visitor is a catalog. We haven't got this page yet, but we will create it in just a minute. Then ampersand and category equals double quote and now dot cut and we want to get the ID of the specific category. Then dot to concatenate the string double quote backslash double quote and another double quote semicolon then we echo the next line which will be helper two colons get active and we pass uh, uh, array as a parameter array first uh, the idea of this uh, array will be category and a value of it will be cat id now we haven't got this method either uh, inside of the helper class yet but we will create it in just a second so let, let's just finish with this whole um, for each loop after this one we will simply echo double quote and closing the the opening uh, a tag then echo helper two colons and encode HTML the method which is already there which was there right from the beginning we didn't go through creating this method because it's quite a complicated one and I didn't want to mess too much with spend too much time on this basically um, 
you, you're obviously more than welcome to have a look at this and see what's happening there. Basically what it does, it's converting any special characters which might be stored inside of the database with the uh, uh, with the proper version, so that, so that so actually the, the output of this of whatever string we're gonna put in will validate uh, obviously, and and everything is gonna be as it should. So, and we're going to be passing as the parameter. We will be passing the name of the category. Okay. After this, we need to echo the closing a tag and closing li tag, and that's basically everything. Now, if we save the file, we go to our browser refresh the page, hey, we've got an error. And this error refers to the missing uh, parameter, which we didn't pass to the fetch all method of the dbase class. So if we go back, we go to our catalog, as you can see, fetch all doesn't have a parameter, we've forgotten to actually pass our SQL statement to it. So now if we save the uh, catalog class, refresh the page, We've got fatal error here, and this is obviously happening because we haven't got this get active method. So let's move to the next video and create this get active method.